in the first two years, how much do you, would you say you made? Right? About probably three mil in sales. You made three mil, and yeah. then the other thirteen mil. It came just took in, off in, in, in took the last off in year. year. You have multi-billion dollar companies popping out of thin air. You have the likes of Jim Shark, for example, that we all know. Yep. I think they did over five hundred million dollars in revenue this last year. In twenty years, I think brick and mortar stores are going to be pretty much gone in the next twenty years. I think. It's, I think everyone is. If you're not online, you're going to die. E-commerce is if you buy from Amazon, you're participating in what is electronic commerce. So electronic commerce is anything that has to do with buying and selling things online, products, services, goods. It doesn't just have to be physical, can be digital. And it's where most people transact nowadays. As yeah. much as people don't like to believe it, when you go on Amazon, you're not buying from Amazon, the business. You're actually buying from individuals that list their products on Amazon. You have Shopify, which you took off as a multi-billion dollar company now, where people are now listing their products and selling them. You have drop shipping, which is basically your concept of arbitraging a product where you don't hold it and you sell it and then you fulfill that order with the customer's money. So that became really popular for many years uh, due to the fact that it's low cost. And now that Facebook and Instagram and TikTok rolled around, they give you access to advertising. So you can advertise products so people are scrolling and they're able to see an ad if they like the product, they resonate with it, they buy it. You have multi-billion dollars companies popping out of thin air. You have the likes of Gymshark, for example, that we all know. Yep. I think they did over five hundred million dollars in revenue this last year. Oh, wow. wow. Literally just building it from an online business. I think they opened up their first store in London recently, but yeah. it's a complete phenomenon. I when they first started in like the early 2010s. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So you're able to scale and build real businesses online. And that's why I call it the digital gold rush. You literally have the possibility and the ability to partake, not just on the internet as a consumer, but as a producer and being able to take advantage of where most people spend their time, which is on their phones. Yeah. Most people aren't spending their time walking in malls shopping. Most people are on the internet. So you need to go to where the attention is. I always say where attention goes, money flows. Yeah. So where the attention is, sure. which is online, you can make money. Yeah. So you just have to figure out what is of interest to people, find that niche, find that winning uh, group of people that you would consider selling to and just sell them something that is beneficial to them. Speaking of money, what is the best business you would say for this year to make money in? Best business model? It, it depends. It depends on what you're interested in doing. You can you can build, you can be a content creator. I think that that's a, a great possibility. I think uh, social media is something that is changing. Mm -hmm. You know, I think a couple years ago, we were, a lot of people were bitches to the algorithm. You know, they had to, they had to post X amount of times to get engagement or they had their Facebook group or their Facebook page. But now we Hashtags have- too. <laughs> now we have the, the whole scenario that's taking place with the short form content and short form content just allows you to go viral in a way that isn't, you know, common. So people are just able to create content and then eventually monetize that through building a community. Uh, you can do that. You can once again, build an Amazon store. You can build a Shopify store, sell quality products. Uh, it really depends. And you can even do services. So there's a lot of people, you see fitness coaches, you see people that uh, are consultants and they monetize through selling a service online. So taking anything that's happening physically and selling it digitally instead of having a retail store that sells clothing in the corner of a, in the corner of a of a city you basically just build an online store and you market why because there's more foot traffic and the traffic is 24/7 yep. yeah and that's the difference is you're not limited by covid right so if you get shut down a lot of businesses went bust yep. why because there was no foot traffic there was yep. there was too many regulations too many rules now people are able to build businesses online so i really think it, it, there's a plethora of, of places where you can make money but there's three there's three niches there's physical products there's digital products and then you have services so digital products so you can have info products right now we saw a uh, big plagiarism take place with the president of harvard and a lot of uh highly reputable institutions they were running a lot of their uh phd uh dissertations through ai and they found a lot of plagiarism yeah. from a lot of these individuals. So a lot of these big institutions where we thought, hey, you, you can go and learn from these centralized institutions and get your degree and then get a job. People are realizing that it's not really all that. So there's a lot of info products taking place online, which I fully support. You have physical products, the selling of goods, and then you have services, people selling marketing services. You have people advertising on a, on a Google ad, their plumbing service, their electrical services, whatever it may be. But the internet is here to stay and the, the ability to be open 24-7 Seven is what absolutely revolutionized everything. Yeah, and and I think COVID made that even more important. And and I would say I, I was thinking about this as I was walking through the mall uh, a couple of days ago. Um, the taco spot that's pretty. You walked through the mall. Yeah, I walked through there to get you? to Tacoology. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't buy. It. That's I'm a rare sighting. 
But the point I'm trying to think is, I was like, in 20 years, I think brick and mortar stores are going to be pretty much gone in the next 20 years. I think it's. I think everyone is. If you're not online, you're going to die. Is is what I think. Because like I'm looking at these stores, there's no one in them. You know what I mean? People are there maybe to take pictures or window shopping or whatever. But these stores are fucking empty, especially the higher end ones. They're always empty. You know what I mean? And it's like one employee in there. Like, how long can you sustain paying employees, keeping the lights on? paying the rent in one of these like lavish yeah, premium areas, real estate you know premium real estate right because you're going to be paying 20 30k at least a month do you even make that much in revenue like honestly to cover those costs so it's like in my head it's like the the only logical way to go from this point forward is to go online especially to compete with places like uh amazon or uh shopify or whatever it may be where it's open 24 7 um gymshark started as an online store i remember back when they started in 2011 2012 etc hell z's was one of their first athletes that they mm. had and they were online only and they didn't open their first store until they had you know obviously made a certain amount of sales and they had a certain uh brand reputation then they opened up their for first store awfully fo followed suit right they're like hey they did pretty well online we got a presence christian guzman right we did an interview with him yeah and i think they made like 90 million or 100 million in revenue Revenue, right so they're about one fourth that of, of gymshark but they got in the game later but it's like online is the way to go and then you can kind of backward manufacture it where if you do well online then open up a brick and mortar store in locations where there's a demand but i think the old business model of opening a up a brick and mortar store kind of seeing how it goes and then opening up an online store isn't the way to go anymore i agree yeah. i agree because you have proof of concept yeah. online you have the ability to test so many different alternatives so many different businesses so many different niches till you find what works for you you don't have to commit to that one business, put up that money, front that money. You don't have that risk. You can test it. You can find your winning audience. You can build a couple social media pages and kind of figure it out. And eventually- and see where they're all concentrated. Exactly. Then, and Gymshark for them, they found out, wow, most of our sales come from London. We're going to put our first store in, in London. London. And then they're able to kind of, because they have all that data where they can like make an educated guess and decide where they're going to open up their first brick and mortar store. And you mentioned fitness people as well. I have friends in the industry, uh, Brandon Carter, uh, my boy Hakeem, where they started training people you know, in person, but it was- time consuming you know they couldn't really scale they went online multiple um people at one time from one zoom call multiple customers and you have scale now yes it's a big help and he can and charge them less he bought a lamborghini cash from his digital money so yeah there you go so you were waiting tables then you did marketing and then you started your first e-com store where are you selling at that e-com i was selling household goods so oh, shit. that's what i would sell because it's something that people would need 24 seven. So I was like, what is an evergreen product that everybody needs? So instead of finding- like spatulas and stuff like, like that? Like soaps, or? anything that you would buy and have in your house. So soaps, laundry detergents, sponges, the shit that people would actually need 24 seven, I would just find alternative ways to sell it. So instead of people going to uh, Walmart, they would just buy from me. So I would just build little small online shops and sell different products in the household niche because it's evergreen. So were I don't- Were you selling it on Amazon? Were you Shopify. Selling, sh oh, you were selling them on yeah, Shopify. So you would okay. just figure out how to arbitrage those and how to add a good narrative, a good spin to it. And it worked. I did about $16 million in revenue selling household goods because it's something oh, that people need all the time. I didn't have to find a way to Over sell. Over how long of a time span? Three years. You did three years? Yeah, wow. Three so you years. were making uh, like seven million a year? Like not even. Like, no, no, no like my six? first two years, I, I, I didn't do really good in my first two years. It really took off during COVID. During COVID, it oh. absolutely exploded oh. mm. because people couldn't go to the store. Yeah. What and products? My, so yeah, household goods. So you would have your soap, you would have your laundry detergents and you would have uh, kind of like your your sanita sanitation products. Oh, that, that yeah. probably went crazy. It went super crazy. Yeah. COVID, yeah. And, and, yeah. <laughs> and what took place was people began to absolutely price gouge on Amazon, for example, would be like your your hand sanitizers yeah. and things Masks, of this product. That type of crap. Yeah. So what happened is Facebook banned advertising these products. So what did I do? I said, well, let me switch the narrative and start taking these products and advertising it as a uh, pet products. So now I said, these are sanitation products for your pets, which kind of circumvented the uh, policy. And I just scaled it that way. Okay. So you made your, so in the first two years, how much do you, would you say you made? Right About left? probably 3 mil in sales. You made 3 mil. And yeah. then the other 13 mil it came. It just took in, off in, 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 it took off in a year. Took wow. off in one year.